tonight. Shouldn't be any weather problems that would impede them. However, it's hot, hazy, and humid, and you need to stay hydrated. So if you're going to take your family out in the humidity tonight, make certain that they are cool, that they have plenty of drinks, and that they'll be able to tolerate it. That means dressing in lightweight, light-colored clothes and staying hydrated, however. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. We can see some of those showers passing through the Mid-Ohio Valley. Most of them are out of the way now, but again, some of those downpours were briefly heavy. There's one in eastern Washington County now that just recently has popped up here, and that looks a little intense. The others have moved pretty much out of the way to the south. The view here on the Highmark West Virginia Skycam looks good. We're seeing some uh, clouds building towards the north. 87 degrees right now, but it feels like 90. That's the, the uh, heat indices factored in. Uh, the relative humidity, 51%, a little on the uncomfortable side. Winds barely 3 miles per hour. No relief there, and the pressure 29.97 inches is falling. Looking around the region, the thermometer reads 89 in Athens, 87 in Columbus and Parkersburg, and 80 down in Charleston. But the heat index on top of that makes it feel like you're in the 90s. Greece is barely out of the north at 3. Here's the regional heat index, and you can see the 90s. Wilmington, Athens, Parkersburg, as you can see. That's why we urge you to drink plenty of fluids and try to stay in the AC. We're a good 11 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this time. So the most recent radar imaging, again, a couple of cells here in eastern Washington County, down by Sand Fork and Sutton, also up by Clear Creek and Columbus, but nothing behind it. So once these pass, we think it's pretty much the end. High pressure is sort of in control, but we have seen those pop-up showers, and futurecast suggests that uh, by the time the fireworks are done at 11, we will still be seeing clear skies, but immediately after that, we're looking at some patchy fog that will be in place overnight. That has to burn off tomorrow, and once again, we're back to those pop-up showers all through the week in the afternoons. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a repeating pattern here. Even into Thursday as well, generally clear skies that will allow that daytime heating. We're up into the uh, middle humidity contest, uh, rather the humidity forecast here for storms on Thursday and Friday. And the convective outlook for tomorrow says we're in the lowest category of thunderstorms. So our forecast says mild and humid tonight, 66 for the overnight low. Tomorrow's high, 89 with the heat index on top of that. And as you can see, we'll be about 90 or better as we get to Thursday. There's a good chance of showers, if not storms, virtually every day, Friday through the next part of the midweek. Well,